hi, welcome to Jeff's Musical Car. Today I have Jim Dory. He's uh, in town playing in Plan B, so uh, welcome to Moncton and uh, thanks for coming along. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Nice to meet you. You too. So uh, tell me a bit about yourself. Uh, late starter. I worked for 37 years and raised three kids and retired and then started thinking about possibly trying my hand at music. So I started writing a few tunes, going to open mics. People started Mm -hmm. suggesting that I record them. So four years ago I did a first CD. Uh, two years ago I did a second one. That one was nominated for an ECMA award and I was going wow like you know yeah. who would have thought just starting in at this age. So I've just released a third one and uh, this show at Plan B tonight is part of a CD release tour for this CD. It's called Drop Forge. So which song are you gonna play for me today? I'm gonna play a song called The Bell and it tells the story from the point of view of one of the survivors of a ship called the uh, Esquimalt. It was the last Canadian warship that was sunk at the end of World War II. And it was torpedoed just outside the mouth of Halifax Harbor. And it was literally two weeks before the war ended. And nobody was expecting that anything like that could possibly happen. So yeah. consequently, 72 guys got off the boat. It sank rather quickly. But they were in the water for almost seven hours waiting for a rescue. Wow. Because uh, they missed a radio contact with shore. Um, they missed a rendezvous with another ship and it never raised any flags and then finally it was around noon they went down about 20 after 6 in the morning so about noon somebody said hey we haven't heard from those guys we should go and look and by the time they got there of the 70 odd guys that went in the water there were 24 of them still living and the rest of them had died of hypothermia well, I'm, I'm excited to hear uh, your take on it so whenever you're ready this is called the bell <laughs> Jim Dory, 
So, uh, can you tell me about the uh, your latest release? It's my third CD. Um, that song is on it, and uh, there's a few historical songs on it. One of them is about a lighthouse that's off the shore of uh, the town of Canto. Another is about an old forge that's in the town of Trenton that my dad used to work on that made uh, railroad okay. axles for uh, railroad cars. And uh, we've got some good players. The CD was produced by Dave Gunning. Okay. And uh, he plays on it as well as Tom Swift does a couple of really nice tracks on resonator guitar. Um, Darren McMullen is on it, Ray Legere is on it. So there's some really good musicality to the record. And uh, I mean, the writing is mostly my own, a couple of co-writes, one with Gunning mm -hmm. or two. And another fellow from out west named Ken Flaherty who actually wrote the, uh, the last verse to the song I just did. I'm a bit of a history buff too and I think it, if uh, your, your song can inspire someone to actually look up the, the real story, you're kind of uh, doing a good thing right there in itself. Well, thank you very much. And um, yeah, I look forward to uh, hearing more from your albums and I wish you the best of luck in your tour. Thanks, Jeff. So that was Jim Dory. Uh, thanks a lot for being a part of this and um, that's it for this episode of Jeff's Musical Car from Moncton. We'll see you next time.